Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today I'm doing a paleo recipe. Now, it's another one of Elena's Pantry's recipes. Now, as you know, when I started my paleo journey, um, her cookbook was my Bible. Still is, to some extent. I love so many of her recipes. But today's recipe is a great gluten, dairy, wheat, grain-free bread alternative. I'm making paleo mini bagels. So to make these paleo mini bagels, you'll need one and a half cups of almond flour, a quarter of a cup of uh, flax meal or flax seed, one tablespoon of coconut flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, I've used a um, pink Himalayan salt, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of raw sesame seeds, and five large eggs. So as a breakfast snack or an after school snack, I'm going to make these bagels with um, bacon, organic bacon, with avocado, you can always throw some tomatoes in there, and also some with smoked salmon and creamy original flavor via life. The cheese without being a cheese. Okay, first step is, usually you would put the dry ingredients in and then add the wet. You know me, I just chuck it all in and the spider mix is great for that. Um, and I don't get along with the kitchen, so hopefully this will work out. So one and a half cups of almond flour, organic, and then the flax seed, or the flax meal, that was a quarter of a cup, a little bit of salt, it's about a teaspoon of salt in there, a teaspoon of baking soda, this is about a tablespoon of coconut flour, you know that I use the, um, the Bayona coconut flour as well, and then I'm going to go straight in and put the two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then my five eggs. We're gonna go straight in, crack them here, no need to move. My five eggs, this is so simple. I love all these recipes, you know, like my banana bread and a lot of the, the other sort of pastry recipes because they just go straight in the Vitamix, and we're on, and we're done. <laughs> There we have it. So uh, you can get these on Amazon. I bought three. There's 18 in uh, each tray. So these, this will make about 54, 50. Let's see how many we get out of this. So let's just hope this is a success. There we go. Okay, so I'll just use these um, disposable icing bags because it's easy, you know, I just want to throw it away afterwards because I don't want to clean it and reuse it. You know me, it's just, I'm not, no fancy Nancy stuff here. I'm not putting the special little tip thing in. I'm just going to cut it off and hopefully it works out all right. I have made this before. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the end off. There we go. And then just going around. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just going around, I've got a little bit left over, so I'm just very, very lightly just sort of topping up any of them that I think look a little bit low around the sides. So we don't want it to go over too much. Okay, so I've put the oven on, I've put it on about 180, um, or if you're in America, 350, I think it's Fahrenheit. Um, and they should take 12 to sort of 18 minutes, keep an eye on them, because they're quick. Now you can add sesame seeds, you can add poppy seeds, you can add onion flakes, you can add all three of those. Um, I am going to do one tray with the sesame seeds because um, my younger ones like them plain, my older one likes the sesame seeds. They don't like the poppy seeds or onion flakes, so they're out. Let's get them into the oven. I'm going to check them after 10 minutes. So while that is cooking in the oven, um, obviously I cooked this bacon a little bit earlier, but what I do do, I'm not a fan of fat on any animal. You know, I know that the, the fat is great for when you cook the bacon because you don't have to add any oil and it cooks in its own fat, and there are some good fats. Uh, but for eating afterwards, don't need it, don't want it. You know this is a, a new love of mine, it's all the Biolife um, cheese without being a cheese. It's a dairy-free alternative to, to cheese. It's coconut based, but it's full of B12, which is really, really good for us. 
I take B12 every day, but I take less now because I eat this as well. So all good. Non-stick bagels. So we just cut them in half. You see that? That's just gorgeous. And a little bit of avocado. Oh. A little bit of bacon. Look at that. Mmm. Mm -mm. Okay, do you know what I've just realised? <laughs> Is I should have covered that hole on the top because you've got the hole on the bottom and the hole and then the whole top is covered. I could have been a little bit more generous with that. Here we go. There's the Bio Life with the smoked salmon. They're even nice just like that. But I am going to put a little lid on that. See that? Mmm. 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 So, good. so there you have it, paleo mini bagels. Um, if you try this at home, leave a comment, let me know how you go. Let me know what you put in it, that'll be interesting. Actually, send me a photo on Instagram, you can tag me. I'd love to see your mini bagel. I'm at memore.tv. And remember, if you've enjoyed this video, I make lots of videos on paleo, so please subscribe. Now, how am I meant to scrape that into that <laughs> without another pair of hands? A teaspoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of baking soda. Fancy Nancy, who says that? <laughs> You've obviously read the books, I hope. My daughter has.